Welcome to Cute Fast Track Series for recommended practice number SNTTC1A. Personnel Qualification and Certification in Non-Destructive Testing. In this lecture, we will discuss Clause 7, Training Programs. In the following slides, we highlight important information contained in Clause 7 accompanied by the sub-clauses. Clause 7. Training programs. Personnel being considered for initial certification should complete sufficient organized training. The organized training may include instructor-led training, personalized instruction, virtual instructor-led training, computer-based training, or web-based training. Computer-based training and web-based training should track hours and content of training with student examinations in accordance with 7.2. The sufficiently organized training shall be such as to ensure the student is thoroughly familiar with the principles and practices of the specified NDT method related to the level of certification desired and applicable to the processes to be used and the products to be tested. All training programs should be approved by the NDT Level 3 responsible for the applicable method. The training program should include sufficient examinations to ensure understanding of the necessary information. Recommended training course outlines and references for NDT Levels 1, 2, and 3 personnel, which may be used as technical source material, are contained in ANSI, ASNTCP 105, ASNT Standard Topical Outlines for Qualification of Non-Destructive Testing Personnel. The employer who purchases outside training services is responsible for assuring that such services meet the requirements of the employer's written practice. Scope of ANSI ASNT CP 105 This standard establishes the minimum topical outline requirements for the qualification of non-destructive testing personnel. This standard details the minimum training course content for NDT personnel. The amount of time spent on each topic in each method should be determined by the NDT Level 3 and the applicable certification document. These topical outlines are progressive. That is consideration as level 1 is based on satisfactory completion of the level 1 training course. Consideration as level 2 is based on satisfactory completion of both level 1 and level 2 training courses. Topics in the outlines may be deleted or expanded to meet the employer's specific applications or for limited certification unless stated otherwise by the applicable certification procedure or written practice. Review questions Question number 1 All training programs should be approved by Answer is D Question number 2. In accordance with SNTTC1A, it is recommended that a training program for qualification and certification purposes should include Answer is C.
Question number three. The topical outline found in ANSI, ASNT, CP 105. Answer is B. Question number four. The recommended training course outlines for NDT level one, two and may be found in. Answer is A. Question number five. Training course outlines and references for NDT levels 1, 2, and 3 personnel, which may be used as technical source material, are contained in ANSI, ASNT, CP 105 is. Answer is B. Question number six. The body of knowledge to be used as part of a training program for the qualification of NDT personnel is contained in. Answer is A. Question number seven. The recommended training course outlines for PDM level three may be found in. Answer is A. Question number eight. The employer who purchases outside NDT training services is responsible for assuring that such training examination services are accordance with answer is c question number nine Outside training services must be in accordance with employers' written practice and are the responsibility of. Answer is C. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad, and this is his profile.